Hey, what's up, everybody? Adam Marcy here with Combat Sports Gaming. In this video, we're going to be seeing what would have happened if GSP would have had the balls to chase the middleweight championship back in the day when he was in his prime. I'm playing UFC Undisputed 3 on advanced and simulation mode, and we're going to be playing on the title run mode right here. So let's see how I fare. You know, I've been streaming this game quite a bit lately, and by quite a bit, I mean twice. And, um, it's so much fun, but the chat distracts me a little bit. I feel like it ends up that I don't play as good as I normally would. But maybe I'm just McGregor and I'm making excuses over here. <coughs> Kendall Grove. I gotta be honest, I don't remember that name. But apparently he won the Ultimate Fighter. That's what Mike Goldberg just told me. Mike Goldberg does make a lot of mistakes, though. So who knows if that information is even accurate. All right. Just playing Mike. Luckily, I know most of George's moves. I know he's got this little lunging jab. Fuck your glove touch. I don't even know how to glove touch in this game. Right here, I'm working some of my favorite combos. That kick to the body, not a combo, but I like to do it as the opponent is striking. I know in UFC 4, that would take away a little extra combo. A little extra stamina. This guy's using these um, teep kicks to the body. I like. All right. You know what I love about this game is that every fighter has a unique style. Like Anderson Silva was doing so many head sways when I faced him earlier with George St. Pierre. That was on the stream. Setting up a head kick right here. Now fainting these takedowns can be dangerous against somebody who is, um, whatchamacallit, throwing these teep kicks like that. I'm trying to go one, two, three to the body. There's that uh, patented body kick that I love to throw. Ooh, the toes almost cat zingano him, cat zinganoed him in the eye. You guys remember when that happened? That was fucking one of the scariest moments in MMA. Oh, he caught me clean there. Hit that takedown because I had a stamina advantage. I'm going right into side control with it. I just learned that Crucifix is in this game. I, I actually meant to get to it right there, but um, you know what, let's... One, another thing about this game, I know I just said this kind of, but these fighters will have different tendencies. So like, and also with their transitions, sometimes they'll transition every time you go to punch, or sometimes there will be a consistent opening in their transitions, like every time you transition um every time you punch they'll transition something like that well, look, he, now look at this you could faint punches from top now I keep forgetting to do stuff like this that's gonna help me remain postured up if I knew how to block the damn transition there we go just blocked one there I mean it is against Kendall Grove so let's kind of calm our our role a little bit all right we're off to a decent start you guys tell me in the comment section almost said in the chat you guys let me know if there's any glaring weaknesses to my game if you check any of my videos I'm always responding to all of the um, comments here it says negative throw more accurate kicks I guess I'm missing your opponent's kicking skills are much higher than their punching skills watch watching out for kicks when you're standing that that is a typo right watching out for kicks okay I mean for how much we love this game you couldn't just speak proper English but if Kendall Grove kind of looks like death punch Brandon Madrigal not to just out his name I don't know if you want me doing that but too bad <laughs> kind of looks like him I don't know I know you guys ain't too happy with him at the moment he spammed your little game fuck your little game man eh? that's what I've got to say you guys don't know what I'm talking about. The person who won the um, the eSports UFC 4 championship, supposedly, I don't know this for sure, but spam submissions or some shit, and people are mad because you didn't play under the honor system. That game has no honor system. If you're still playing it, no offense. Kind of shame on you, dude. Oh, head kick KO. I almost leaned over to fart really loud, but then I realized I was, I was recording. I can't do that kind of thing. 
I mean, I could, but I won't. <laughs> All right, first match always gets you feeling good, but then you just quickly realize that like there's levels to these AI, and uh, Kendall Grove is near the bottom of that level. This game, man, so addicting. I can just play it all day. We're number 14 in the middleweight division. This is, of course, assuming that Dana made GSP move up and go one by one, not just take an automatic title shot, which we all know that would never happen. In fact, it didn't happen. <clears throat> you know what's a fight I need to go back and watch? Bisping versus GSP. According to, like, I forget, you know, like, some of the announcers we're talking about, that Bisping actually won a round or two in that fight. Uh-oh. Hide your ankles, hide your knees. Rusmar Pelharis is out to break them in half. I just let out that fart that I was trying to hold in. I don't know if you guys can. It was audible. <laughs> We're gonna, as always, always start by pretending to run at him. We're gonna establish the leg kick because I wanna be Sim. Not Sim, I wanna be Sim. We're gonna be fainting a lot because I wanna be Sim. And now we're going up to the head, baby. They are who we thought they were. And we let them off the hook. Oh, baby, we're working on that leg now. You know what I notice is when you go downstairs for the... Oh, man, man, come on, I was busy. I was busy talking. Please don't do this. Thank God. I got this, no doubt. No doubt I got this. Thank God he can't knee me in the face there. Yes. If you hold LB and go for that takedown, LB and do like, um, let's go into the crucifix. Yeah, baby. Tried to go to the crucifix again, didn't let me. So notice right here, in, fuck, every time I go to tell you guys this, it doesn't let me do it. In UFC 4, watch, I'm going to get to side control. If I want to throw the elbow, I actually have to move into a different position. In UFC 4, you just throw the elbow, it's actually pretty silly. And I never realized that until this game. Come on, let's posture up. Oh, oh, fuck, that was the ref. Okay. Oh! Oh, and that uppercut just missed. Okay, I think I won this round. We had some good top control. Scored a lot of good um, leg kicks, body kicks. <clears throat> Scored one head kick up top. It says keep landing those body shots. That wasn't a pretty round. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot that I got knocked down in that round. So he's actually winning this fight. Whoopsies. You guys let me know if you know which video game that is from. Okay. Besides that one moment, though, I whooped his ass. And that was round number one. Okay. That was a really good takedown at his end. So right here, I'm looking for him to put both of his hands on my torso. That's what signifies that he's looking to posture up. At least I got a, a stun there. We're gonna go with some feints. Oh, 
Oh, you flick the stick. Oh. Okay, now I know how to do it. I might be spamming that a little bit more. Okay, so L1 and forward with each arm is the spinning back fist. Let's get back to the sim play. Look at these combos, baby. He denied my takedown. Fuck. I'm really waiting to score one of these. That's when I like to land that body kick, like I mentioned before. Up, up, up. I'm gonna have to get a knockdown because of that. Fuck. Yes, that's exactly what I needed. Go to fuck to sleep, Bruce Morris, for all the pain you have caused to other people. All the limbs you intentionally held on. Alright, that was a great fight. You know what I want you to realize, bro? I'm sure you realize this a thousand times. Is like, don't matter who win, if I lose, if I win. The, it doesn't matter if I play stupid or play sim. Like, the game always gives you a realistic outcome. <clears throat> it's just so crazy. I can say it a hundred times, man. I created two videos that accumulatively came up with 35 things this game does better. And I have a part three coming out. And it's got like another 10 to 15 things. And they're not, I mean, some of them are small, unique details, but none of them are just throwaway bullshit. You know what I mean? Alrighty. Let's see how this fight goes. I'm probably going to have about three or four fights in this episode. I don't want this to get too long. If the video does well, uh, which will be partially due to your likes and your comments, then I will post part two. Otherwise, we'll stick with the streams. Whatever you guys want. If you guys want more combat sports documentaries, combat sports gaming documentaries. Uh, what do they call this guy? Sexy Yama? Yoshiro Sexy Yama. All right. Fuck, I tried to put a takedown at the end. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, I tried to transition. Good timing by him. Let's uh, raise him one spinning kick. I'm really getting good at offense in this game. Oh, that was actually dirty. Okay, that was really stupid of me to do that, but it's all right. Fuck, I'm trying to go to the head. If you guys ever face me online, you know I love going to the body. It's one of my favorite investments to make. Never been much of a stock trader, but I love hitting up that body. Yeah, ah. Oh. Wow, wow, that was sick. I actually meant to go for a knee from the Muay Thai clinch there. And that stun before helped. Oh, I thought I was going to get the finish. I'm trying to figure out how to do some other moves with him. Maybe. This is definitely all she wrote for him. And look at that. You can punch him. Wow. Another thing. I should add this to the list. 
somebody comment so I don't forget. I don't want to go get out the computer. But um, what you call it? You could hit fighters on the way down after you stun and knock them down. You could hit them on the way down. Sometimes in Pride mode, you can soccer kick them as they miss a takedown. In UFC 4, it's like the takedown animation is separate from, you know, it's, well, I'm sorry, when you knock somebody down, it's like they have a free fall to the canvas. Let me know in the, um, in the comments if you guys are enjoying this content. If you want to see me record more videos like this, because the truth is I can put out videos like this every day. I can do five of these a day. But those other videos, they take a lot of work. I can only do three of those a week at most. So um, if you like this content, shit, I won't be mad at you, okay? I'll start sprinkling some of these in. Like Floyd says, this is easy work right here. All right, let's get going, buddy. Tell me in the comments if I should have been skipping. I know I have been skipping. Do you want me to not skip these parts, or do you want me to just get to the gameplay? For now, I will assume you just want the gameplay. I could probably make a little bit more ad money if I make it longer, but fuck it. Wow, we dropped him on the first punch. That was a nice slip on his end. Oh, look at that. You can... Okay, I'm wasting a lot of energy trying to make that work. But... You know what combo really does not work in this game at all? Is the straight followed by that lead kick like that. The straight just doesn't have the distance on it. You know what I want you to notice? Watch, I'm going to do this side kick again. Or, or spinning kick, excuse me. Notice how long it takes to get to the opponent. It's pretty realistic. In UFC 4, it gets there so damn quick. Oh man, that was way out of reach. Somebody, somebody once told me that the, um, you know how you can't move forward in this game when you throw a jab? Even though I'm doing it, that's just because I have the special animation. For a regular jab, you can't do that. Somebody said that it's like, kind of simulates needing to plant your feet like in real life you need to plant your feet before you strike i don't know if i completely agree with it but it at least makes me feel better that's another combo works really good you go lead hook lead hook straight lead hook to the body fuck every time i try to show you guys a combo it never works He's tired as shit. That's, that means I'm going to end up in, um... Fuck, I wanted to end up in Crucifix there. Oh, wow, because I did a big transition, I ended up in Postured Up Top Mount. <clears throat> as opposed to regular Top Mount. That's one thing I love about this game. They have positions and sub-positions. Right now, Faraz Ahabi just saying, bro, keep doing what you're doing. Keep piecing that boy up. Gonna get that title shot soon. That's a decent combo, right? The jab spinning back fist. What about the hook spinning? Oh, the hook Superman punch. Oh, oh my god. That was a beautiful combo. I don't even remember what I just did. I'm I'm totally using that for the thumbnail. My facial expression and everything. This is going to be the thumbnail. 
Oh, you little cringe bastard. Oh, he goes to block his body. I thought it bled through. Oh my god. I just like, I want to shed a tear of appreciation. Look, look, he blocked his body. Now, what that says to me, I know this isn't the case, but it's as if I'm going against a real human who thought, oh shit, I just got my body hit. He's attacking my body. Better lower my hands. Who is it? It's uh, Mark Munez. Or M Mun Munez. Munez. What a fucking douchebag. <clears throat> you know, after I streamed before for two hours, I went to record another video and my voice was hoarse. Like, wow. This is actually work. I never would have guessed. It's the purple cup making its reappearance in the video. Keeps me energized. Keeps the drink cold. What else could you ask for? Alrighty. I probably say that at the beginning of every fight. Oh, I'm getting too cute here. Going for these fucking fake takedowns. Oh, okay. See? We're at a different skill level here. These fighters at the top of the division, they legitimately get better. took my hand off denial for a second and that's what happens I shot like a dusty bitch I need to get a stunt state good good going to be a good one. That lean back straight. I don't want to force it. Damn it. GSP has a takedown from this position. Oh, darn it. I missed the analog stick. Oh, I was trying to get him catch him swaying his head oh I reversed him I've been trying to do that on this difficulty for so long I caught his hand there managed to get his hand. I think the round should be ending soon. There we go. All right. We have our first fight of the of the episode. The positive said keep landing those body shots. This is what happens to me during these title runs, man, during the um the top 5 top 6 fighters they get me. I'm going to try to throw as many things as I can at him here. I'm convinced that going low, uh, fainting the jab. fucking dominating me. That was a really nice transition. In order to do that, 
I had to do um, LB. There we go. Those low kicks seem to really keep them off balance. Yes. I was going with that jab rear hook too much. Yes, that's exactly what I needed. Finish the fight. Oh, the round stopped it. Oh my God. Look at the realistic blood and cuts, the blood spilling on his chest. <laughs> Great pursuit of the knockdown, the knockdown, but let's finish him next time. So they're showing his stun state. Let's see if they show my spinning back fist. Here it is. Knock him the fuck down. I guess they gave me that round. <clears throat> Man, this is exhilarating. I ain't capping for the camera. Oh man, he, he counted nice again. Time to imperviously. Bullshit, you're too tired, bitch. Fuck, I tried to do a slip hook to the body. Yes, thank God I grabbed that. Oh, man. I need this transition right here, right now. I need this, thank you. Oh my God. Oh my God. It hurts me. I'm gonna have to post this the way it is. And there's no redemption from that. You don't just come back and win the title after getting fucking flatlined by Mark Munez. Shit, that was so fun. That was so fun. I've literally not had this much fun playing a video game since it came out. I don't know. All right, guys. So as you see, if GSP were to go for the middleweight title back in his prime, he would have been knocked out stiff by Mark Munez. Now you know what would have happened. If you like content like this, press subscribe. But more importantly, let me know in the comments, what do you want to see me do next? I'm thinking maybe something like, um, maybe something like event mode. I'll recreate old UFC events. If you like that, let me know and I'll do that shit. All right, GSP signing off. Peace. CSG as GSP signing off.